Welcome back, this is the Amberjack, and today we got Gunslinger, Ashwood Asylum, Suicidal. And, uh, hold up! Do we have some kind of update or something? I got no idea, I got no idea. No clue, no clue. None at all. And we do have Tiny Terror, but Tiny Terror sucks, so... Ashwood Asylum... That's what it picked for me, and I don't, I don't turn my, my back, I don't turn my head, I don't, you know, I don't, you know, other words to, uh, to the RNG in this game. If the RNG dictates that we play Ashwood Asylum, then Ashwood Asylum we play. Here we go. The mission is underway. Lock and load. I have, I have nothing else to talk about but VR. <laughs> it's all I'm doing right now. It's all I'm doing. I've done literally nothing else today. I uh, I cooked I cooked lunch. I cooked lunch. Um, so I woke up. I played super hot. Uh, then I made lunch. Went back and had a nap. Woke up. Had uh, had some dinner, and then played Beat Saber. And now I'm recording. <laughs> that's that's been my day. It's been. Just VR. It's all I do. It's all I do. It's all I want to do. It's all I want to do. I've not had the opportunity yet to play Minecraft in VR. I haven't played anything else really, uh, other than the Oculus Quest. I haven't like set up the virtual desktop with the link or anything like that. Uh, I think I could set up the link pretty easily because I do have a cable connected to my computer, and I don't know if you need USB 3.0 speeds anyway. And I believe it's USB 3.0 speeds that I have anyway, so should be okay. Um, we are, I'm just, I'm just messing up everywhere, dude. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, I'll, I'll probably end up getting that set up maybe this weekend or something like that, and see about, uh, playing, like, PC VR games, Minecraft, Tabletop Simulator, and Killing Floor 2, maybe, if I can. Uh, I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> But uh, yeah, the thing is, is when I'm playing PC VR, I don't actually want to be using my hands. I just want. But I, what I want to have is I want to have a, a VR display, but still use my mouse and keyboard to 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 do things. I don't want to actually, you know, I just want the the 3D display. You know what I mean? I don't actually want to have to stand up and then play it. I want to be able to sit down and just use it, and have the 3D display of the game. Is what I want. Because I don't actually get motion sickness in VR. It just doesn't happen to me. I don't get motion sickness. I don't get headaches. I don't get migraines. I don't get, you know, none of that. None of that happens to me. It's not. It's not. It's not a thing that I have to concern myself with whatsoever. Um, definitely is to uh, to some people. You know, your mail your mileage may vary. Not for me. Um, I don't know if I talked about it, but I got a. Uh, I have a VR cover coming, so I bought. Uh, I bought. Just, it's just like. Um, the uh, VRCover.com had like two uh, options available. They had like a silicone face cover thing, you know, uh, and then they had a uh, like cloth wrapper that goes over the existing foam, which the silicone wrapper might also be that. I don't know, um, but they had a silicone and then a cloth one. The cloth one um, is the one that I bought. It comes with like two of them. They're pretty cheap, so I'm gonna try them both out and see what I prefer. Um, definitely want something a little bit more comfortable. The silicone might be it. Might be it. I do not know. Um, silicone might be it. Uh, but, uh, God, we're just getting swarmed by husks. It's always husks, though, isn't it? It's always husks. I want you gone. Um... But uh, I bought the cloth ones because I feel like they're going to be better for sweat. Uh, which is going to be a lot of what I'm doing while playing VR. <laughs> so, because the, the cloth is going to, you know, help help to, you know, wick away moisture from, from sweating and stuff to keep your eyes dry. Because uh, what can happen actually is your, like, eyes, your, your sweat, like, drips into the VR and then, like, gets the glasses fogged up or like your eyes end up not being able to, like it, it, your sweat can get in the way of you being able to see um so uh yeah but um 
I got the uh, the cloth one for now, just because it comes with two of them, which I think I think the silicone one comes with one, so I'd, I'd have uh, I'd be able to like have uh, like just a little bit another sanitary step when I'm letting people use my uh, my uh, Oculus Quest, uh, just just to help keep some degree of separation between where my sweat goes and then where their face goes, you know. Just to kind of make it a little bit less gross. Uh, so I had two of them coming. And if they're good, I might buy like a couple more. Just to have like another layer of added protection, you know. So so there could be like two for me. And then uh, two for, for family or whatever to, to use. Or, you know, visitors, friends, whoever, right? Just to have a, a separation of, again, where my sweat goes and, and where their face goes. You know, just, just to keep it a little bit less gross. Uh, because was when, I, when I was done with Beat Saber, the, the foam was wet, for sure. It was it was wet and cold. <laughs> it was, yep, I was sweating, you know? It's gross. Uh, that's 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 the thing with, with VR oftentimes, is, is you, know, you don't really want to go over to your friend's house and then use their VR headset, because it's gross. Um, it's, it's just gross. You know, especially if they play the active games, like, um... Beat Saber or whatever, because uh, yeah, it's gross. It's gross. It's gross. So I got I got a couple of VR cover things coming in the mail, which will be good and uh, will help keep that to a minimum. And also might just help with the comfort level. It might be a little bit more comfortable to have the cloth cover rather than the foam directly on your face. I don't know. I don't know. I I want to try and resolve the comfort issue as much as I can, however I can. Um. I wanted to get, I wanted to do the Franken Quest thing with the uh, the Vive Deluxe audio strap, and then you get a like 3D printed little thing that like clips onto the side of the Oculus Quest, and then it kind of like adapts the Vive strap, which is uh, praised by many to be the best VR strap there is in like existence. Um, and it helps to kind of like get it onto the, the Quest and, and make it nice and comfy and stuff. Um, but I can't actually get the Vive Deluxe Audio Strap in Canada. I can get it in America. I just, I can't get it in Canada. And I don't know if that's going to be a problem that ends up getting resolved or not. Um, but at the same time, it doesn't come with a battery. So I'm thinking I'm going to end up going for, uh, the, um, the Oculus, uh, like, Elite Battery Strap with carrying case. Uh, right now they aren't available, which is, I believe, because of a problem with uh, the plastic. A lot of them were getting, like, cracked in uh, in normal use. Uh, like, a lot of them. Like, it was a pretty big problem. They're, they're probably going to end up recalling them. And uh, everybody who bought one is probably going to get a, like, replacement or recalled or whatever, right? Um, which is good. My chair that I'm sitting on right now is actually recalled a few years ago. <laughs> I got a good one, though. Um, I hope I got a good one anyway. I'm getting a new one soon anyway. But, uh, yeah, it was, uh, like recalled or whatever. So, was, well, it hasn't been recalled yet, but anyway, they're out of stock everywhere. You can't get them, and I wouldn't want to get them because there's a major problem with them cracking. You either get a good one or you don't get a good one. Um, well, if, if they are available, I'd probably pick one up because they're probably going to get recalled and then, uh, I'd be able to get uh, in on that, you know, maybe, I don't know, whatever kind of benefits then end up coming out of that, right? Like, you either get a good one or you don't. Either way, you end up getting a good one eventually, right? Like, when it's available. Like, they won't be available, <laughs> probably, like, day one when, when the new straps go on sale. They're probably going to end up getting bought out, like, immediately. Um, so, getting one now, while you still can... Which I can't, but if I could, uh, I'd probably end up being better because they'd, they'd replace mine as somebody who has already purchased one rather than give it to somebody who hasn't purchased one yet, right? It's kind of my understanding of it. But anyway, I'm probably going to go with that when I can. The Elite Battery Strap with Carrying Case. The Carrying Case is nice. Um, you know, it's, it's acceptable. Uh, and then the, the actual strap itself is, I hear, fairly comfortable. 
Um, not the most comfortable strap in existence, but I, I hear it's it's reasonably comfortable. Um, the battery helps to kind of like counterbalance the uh, the Oculus Quest like machine to, to make it a little bit not lighter, but but feel lighter on your face. Not so like front heavy, you know. And um, the battery also like helps keep it alive longer. So uh, the Oculus Quest only gets about two to two and a half hours of usage, which is like acceptable. It's acceptable. I don't play for longer than that in one setting setting anyway. But I'm feeling generous. to get a nice strap that feels comfortable, that has a counterbalance, and it also just extends the battery life of the quest. Wh what more can you ask for, right? What, what more can you ask for? That's, that's like win-win, right? Like, it's just, it's just good. Um, so I'll probably end up going with that. It's like 200 bucks, though. It's expensive. Um... But I'll, I'll probably end up getting it just because, like, having that level of comfort and also the extended battery life. Also, it would be way easier uh, with that to end up charging, like, to have a, another just, like, battery pack, right? Because I could just stick it in my back pocket and just have the cord go straight from there up to my, uh, to the back of the headset where the charging port kind of gets moved to with that strap. Uh, which is kind of like a more convenient way to end up uh, adding in even more battery if I wanted it, which I would like. I, I hear people complaining about how the bat, excuse me, how the battery on the uh, the elite battery strap. It's it's an elite strap with battery, but the elite battery strap is is like less stupid. Uh, how the elite battery strap uh, doesn't have like a big battery on it, and it's it's not it's barely doubling the like lifespan of the. Uh, of the device, but like, like let's just be honest here. How often are you are you really sitting down or standing up rather, and and playing VR for like playing playing anything in VR, watching TV or walking around? Like I don't know, doing anything. How often are you sitting down, uninterrupted, or like doing? I want to I want to say this in the way that I want to say it. How often? Are you so far away from a plug and so mobile in VR for such a, a long like period of time to uh, to um, not be able to plug in your headset while you're using it? You know what I mean? Like, if if I'm playing if I'm playing a game in VR, I'm not gonna play it standing up for five hours at a time, or I might. But definitely not more than that. But and then uh, and then uh, if I'm if I'm gonna be in VR for longer than that, uh, which I, I probably would never be. I'm probably not gonna end up uh, like um. I'm, I'm probably not going to end up. Like standing up and move around, I can just plug it in while I'm sitting down. You know what I mean? Like, like I just, I, 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 five hours is is enough for for, in my opinion, any practical use case of the device that that you would actually be doing with it. In my opinion, and again, with the the cord so conveniently placed at the back of the device, with the charging port so conveniently placed at the back of the device, if you are going to be in it for longer than that, which like. Why? Really, genuinely, I want to know what kind of use case there is for being in VR for more than five hours at a time. Um, Something fun's coming. Like, why? Like, why can't you just plug in another battery pack into the back of it? You know what I mean? Like, it's so conveniently located that you can just you can just do that, right? You did. Um. Anyway. In my opinion, maybe maybe once uh, like 60 hertz or 90 hertz comes out, um, the games will end up, you know, maybe maybe with 90 hertz and casting and all this kind of nonsense. Maybe maybe it ends up wearing the battery life down a little bit more. I don't know. Um, but but even like I, I just for me, I really don't think that I would ever be able to do more than like two or three hours of of constant VR gaming. 
for longer than that, and then just plugging it in with like a long cord is not that bad either. If I'm gonna be doing longer than that, like sitting down and and playing a game or something like that, uh, that that is like a sit down game or or like browsing the internet or, or something like that, you know, like I just for me, I don't know. It just it just kind of and I don't know. It just it just it just it feels it feels like it's enough. It doesn't feel like it's a lot. It feels like it's it's adequate. Uh, it would be nice if definitely if they put more on, especially at the price that uh, they're demanding for it. it. They're asking a lot. It's like 200 bucks for a strap, a small battery, and then a carrying case, which, you know, the carrying case is fairly, look, looks fairly decent quality, um, but like, it just, it just, for me, it just kind of... It feels it feels it feels a little bit overpriced. Like two, it's like two hundred dollars Canadian for it, you know. It's one hundred thirty American, but like it's two hundred bucks Canadian, um, which is it's just it's a lot of money for a strap and a carrying case. I don't even I don't even want the carrying case. I just want the strap. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like why does it why does it gotta come with the case? I mean I want the case, but I would rather spend less and just get the strap and the battery than uh, than get the case. But it has to come together for some reason, which it's a nice case. And uh, would help with uh, with carrying and storage even. Um, carrying mostly, I probably wouldn't really put it in there for the for the most part. Like after every use, and there's no like charging port on it. Like I don't know. Like they could they could have done a lot better with it. If I already get it, I probably end up modding the case to include a charging port. It's just like drill drill a hole in the side of it. Um, and uh, then put in like. Uh, like glue in like some kind of you know female to female uh, USB C connector you know Down you go. maybe add in some like fuzzy bits around it to make it kind of la like match the the case and then add in a uh, a cord in the inside to uh, You're staying in one piece. That's great. to plug into the uh, The device when you put it in you couldn't have it lined up perfectly with um so it just like slots in and then like sits on it that it's not really doable with like a mod but you could have like a cord that you just kind of like plug into it you know like that's fine or you could just drill a hole and stick a grommet in it and then just run the cord through it and into the carrying case and plug the cord directly into the office i feel like having the uh the uh the female to female just like interface on the uh, on the case would be a little bit more convenient so you can just like unplug it and then take it with you you don't have to like open it up and and then unplug the quest and then take the thing out and zip it back up and all like you can just you can just rip the plug out of the the carrying case itself uh, I'd probably end up doing that if I were to get one um, just just because I, I think that I think that that should have been added you know like why would you make a carrying case and not even let it charge you know Come on, guys. Gotta be better than this. Um, but there's also gonna be like some third-party straps for sure that come out. Um, there already are some on like AliExpress and stuff. Um, that you know, like Halo straps and, and stuff that are probably definitely more comfortable than um, the uh, the strap that comes with the Quest 2, and probably better build quality than the uh, elite strap is currently but uh, not something that I would personally want to trust with like my quests you know uh, so what I wanted to do was the, the franken quest mod because that's I know that's a good quality strap I know it's comfortable um, you know it's, it's good stuff all around right oh I missed it I missed it but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, prob I'm probably just realistically just going to end up buying the carrying case and elite battery thing once it comes on sale again. Once they fix the, the, the nonsense going on with it, it's probably what I'll end up doing. Because it's just, just like... I'm a, I'm a consumer, okay? I don't... I don't like I, I like open source. I like non-proprietary stuff. At the end of the day, I'm, I'm, I'm more interested in convenience than anything else. You know? Like... Some things just aren't worth thinking about. Some 
non-proprietary junk about it. Not worth getting into modding it, you know? Some some things just it's not worth it. I'd rather just pay an exorbitant price than have something that I know is decent quality, fits on it properly, works with it, has like a reliable warranty, and these things are valuable, right? They're valuable, so. Uh, I'll probably end up buying it. Which I don't think it's a good deal, I think it's a total ripoff, but I'm hoping something else comes out that, uh, like Reddit and everybody is just like, this is the one. This is the one that you need. This is the this is the one. This is the strap that you get. It's exactly like the Elite Battery Strap, except better. You know, that's that's what I'm hoping happens. <laughs> and cheaper, you know. Uh, that's what I'm hoping happens. Chances of it happening like in the next month or two, not super high. Um, because like you know, Oculus, Facebook, they've they've had the entire time they've been developing the the quest in it like itself, the quest to itself to to figure out how they're gonna design the straps. You know, it's not like they made the the quest and then started developing the the straps. You know, like they went on side by side, right? So they had a bit of an advantage on that front, and then everybody else gets the quest, and then they start working on R and D and all that for their own third-party straps, and mods, and 3D printed stuff, and all that. It just it takes time, right? But uh, I'll probably end up just buying the Elite Battery Strap. I think that it's convenient having the battery integrated into it, then having the battery like display in the quest itself, so you can see how charged it is and stuff. It's got like communication and. Uh, then it also like moves the charging port for the whole quest to the back of the device, which I think is really, really convenient. It's just, it's just overall, it's just a good thing, in my opinion. It's a lot of good things. It's expensive, not worth it, but it, it you know, it is what it is. You buy it once, you have it, right? Again, it's like I said last episode, it's still not a particularly expensive hobby. Relative to, you know, being an Xbox gamer or something, right? They're fairly comparable priced, so you gotta get an Xbox. It's like four hundred bucks. You gotta have a TV with that. It's not like four hundred bucks. You have to have, you know, all these other things with it with the Oculus Quest too. You just have to have the Oculus Quest and then maybe a strap if you wanna. You don't have to have it. Just buy the Oculus Quest and you're good to go. You can go set it up at like uh, at like uh, Tim Hortons or something with public Wi-Fi. I don't care, <laughs> you know. Uh, anyway, that's good to do for today, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future, comment if you have anything to say. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.